ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another frostpoint video in today's video i'll be showing you the best and fastest ways and the ways that you could get more sprouts of life in frostborn so a lot of people don't know two specific zones that you could get it but i'm going to walk you through all of these zones that you could get the sprouts of life all right so at number one we have the green zone so the green zone is one of the easiest way and fastest ways to get these sprouts of life all you have to do is to kill the mobs and also open the chest well basically you can just use a five shot or a cleaver to quickly hurdle all the mobs and then kill them as fast as you can then looting all the bodies and all the chests there's a chance that someone might already loot the chests the second best way would be in the yellow zone so either location you know rock location or the forest location either location for the yellow zone is perfect for farming sprouts and do the same thing as you do in the green zone just rot up all the mobs with a cleaver or you could rot up all the mobs with a five shot quickly clear the zone looty bodies and open the chests but in these zones you only get like one sprouts of life in each mobs so the zone that i'm going to tell you about you get two sprouts of life in a chest and also in a mob and you could get quite amount in that location but it's all based off luck so stay tuned for that part of the video all right so once you have looted all the mobs and all the chests for the yellow location um you definitely get sprouts of life from mobs and from the chest and the next location would be the red forest so both the forest of um shadows and the red rock location that would be the best zones um in regards to getting more sprouts of life in the chest and also the mobs but it is pvp related so that would be the downside and also the next best location to get these sprouts of life would be the northern zone so the northern zone is the best location um in regards to getting sprouts of life but it is not guaranteed in a lot of mobs to get it it's based of luck so you could actually get a lot of sprouts of life in the mobs and chests because they are in chests in the northern zone so once you have formed the northern zone or the winter zone either way you want to call it that would be one of the best location in regards to getting the sprouts of life in frostborn and also the last but not least best location to farm the sprouts of life would be in the southern zone so what you could do in the southern zone to receive less damage it's not a big of a deal you could bring the four horns as i said before in my past videos bring the four horns or you can bring 12 feathers to get the talisman and that will reduce the hit points that you'd get from the southern zone so in the alfar's um alfar zone you will get two sprouts of life from the mobs and also from the chest so basically that zone and the northern zone southern and northern zone would be the best location to farm because you get two sprouts of life from the mobs and it might be a high chance that you could repeatedly find these in the mobs but it's all about it's kind of a random drop i should say so i'm not sure on the stats but you can leave down in the comments below if you know the stats i mean a lot of people are currently doing the northern and southern zone to get these sprouts of life but a lot of new players don't know that you can actually farm that zone to receive these sprouts of life way faster for the season so those are the best ways to get this sprouts of life you know hopefully this video helps thanks so much for watching and peace